Before the video starts guys, I just wanted to mention that I'm doing a 1BGL giveaway every single video. All you guys got to do to enter is like the video, subscribe and turn on post notification bells, comment your girl ID and your world. There will be two winners, 50 diamond locks each and it's simple as that. Also, I stream on the Twitch platform daily so make sure to come tune in and show some love. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video boys. Peace. I can't go back to you my friend. Don't even ask. Don't play pretend. You know you left me lonely. I could tell them the whole story. It may take a couple hours. I've got time. Let's get to chat to how could I explain the situation? Man, it's so damn complicated. Where do I start? Where do I end? I should go back to bed. I'm going back to all the basics. Teaching myself now how to erase it. It's like learning a whole new language. And I'm afraid to scared to face it. I just want consistent clarity. But all my thoughts destroying me. Some peace of mind is all I need. Give peace to all of my family. I can't go back to you, my friend Don't need an ask, don't play pretend You think you are everything I need But I gotta leave What's up guys, Sleazy here and in today's video I'll be teaching you guys exactly how to open up two Gertopias without it giving you this exact message which you'll see right now which says an instance of Gertopia is already running, go play that one. So in today's video I'll teach you guys how to bypass that and have two Gertopias open rather than one. And no, we won't use any Android emulators like BlueStacks or anything like that will just be using a Microsoft application. So first and foremost, the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is open up Google or anything of that sort. So we'll be using Google. And what you guys are gonna wanna search up, I'll leave this also in the description if you guys don't wanna uh, search it up and you guys are, for example, lazy. <laughs> so you're gonna search up proc exp. Once you guys search up proc exp, the first thing that'll pop up, you'll click it and then process explorer version 17.05 what you guys are going to want to do is go down over to download process explorer you guys are going to want to click this and then it will download the zip right here what i'm going to do is show in folder and then close out of here and then close this cortopia drag it right over here so as you guys can see you guys will have this in your file explorer right over here like this and then i dragged it out this is what you'll have right here. What you guys are gonna wanna do is extract the files, press okay, and you guys will get this right here. You could go ahead and delete this. Then we're gonna open up the Process Explorer. Then you guys see this right here, Process Explorer EXP, Process Explorer EXP 64 and 64A. I don't ever really use Process Explorer 64 or 64A. I usually just open Process Explorer. So, you know, you could go ahead and just open Process Explorer. What you guys always want to do is run it as administrator. So every single time you guys open Process Explorer, you're going to run it as administrator. My screen went black, but it's going to ask you if you want to run this as administrator or not. You guys are going to click yes. Once you guys have ran it as administrator, Usually you guys will pop up like this. Okay, this is exactly how you'll pop up What you want to click is as you guys see my mouse What it's hovering over right here. You guys are gonna want to click this and this will pop up right here Right, and then we're gonna scroll down First we're gonna open up Gertopia matter of fact. Let's open up our Gertopia Once your Gertopia is open You guys see right here my Gertopia is open 
From here, I want to open up my process exp, as you see right here. You guys want to scroll down. You gotta make you gotta make sure you have Grotopia open, or it's not gonna pop up on the process explorer. Okay. So once we scroll down, we see our Grotopia right here. We're gonna click on our Grotopia, and then we're gonna switch over to handles. It's already on handles. It might be on DLL, DLLS or threads. You guys want to make sure you switch over to handles. Once you guys are at handles, you guys are going to go down here and find mutant. As you guys could see, mutant, mutant, and then Grotopia. You guys will see two Grotopias, all right? Mutant Grotopias. What you guys are going to do, right click on Grotopia EXE up here. And what you guys are going to do is suspend the application. Don't restart. Don't click anything but suspend, all right? Once it says suspended, you guys are going to head down to the two Grotopia mutants. You're going to close the first one. Wait one second. Don't click anything. Wait till it closes. Then close the other handle. Once you guys have closed both handles and the Grotopia application is suspended, what you guys are going to do is open up another Grotopia. Okay. Once you guys have opened up another Grotopia, what you'll do is click on this right here, the suspended, and then you're just going to simply resume it. Once you guys have done that, you guys could minimize this. As you guys can see, two Grotopias open. What you usually want to do is make sure that you're actually loaded into a world. Like for example, uh, I'm going to head into my private server, but make sure you're loaded into a world before you uh, suspend and stuff like that, because sometimes it will crash, you know? So make sure you're loaded into a world uh, on, on the uh, main Grotopia that you loaded in from right you want to make sure that like for example right here you want to be loaded into a world and then start doing all the stuff with the proc exp all right once you do that as you guys can see you have two grotopias open right over here i have both of my accounts uh we are on my private server which will always as always in every single video be linked down in the description if you guys want to join my private server but this is what i'm gonna tell you guys right now okay you guys close one Grotopia, the other one will crash too. So as you can see, I'm playing on this Grotopia doing whatever I want. Playing on this Grotopia doing whatever I want. But as soon as I go over here and close this, it'll say internal memory error and it'll close the other Grotopia too. Then what you got to do is open your Grotopia, go through the process again. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I'm saying? And every single time, like I said before, if you guys close out of this and you guys go over here and like proc exp is fully closed, the next time you open proc exp, you're going to need to open it and run it as administrator again. Every single time you open it, run it as administrator. If you guys don't run it as administrator, guess what? It will not work. <laughs> it will literally not work. I promise you guys. But other than that, that's how you guys open two Grotopias without any type of third part like crazy you know memory taking cpu wasting third party software or application or anything like that that's this is actually like a third party software too but still you know like a one that takes less memory and stuff like that but i hope you guys enjoyed this small little tutorial that i put together for you guys it was pretty simple um if you guys want more stuff like this like small little tutorials for certain things you guys are trying to figure out um leave it down in the comments I appreciate you guys' support. If you guys are new, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Turn on those post notification bells as well. And as always, stay awesome, stay sleazy, and I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one.